Hi, my name is Jonathan Walker and I'm the creator of the Biomint Internal Combustion Filter. So the problem I wanted to solve was pollution as it's a massive problem on Earth and it's mainly propagated by internal combustion engines and combustion processes. They can cause lowered visibility, unpleasant, unpleasant odors, accelerate climate change, as well as harming organisms and the environment, particularly asthmatic people. And the large-scale use of carbon-based fuels makes this issue particularly prominent because the volume of emissions is, is giant. So something must be done in order to mitigate this. So whenever I was brainstorming ways to solve this problem, I came up with that I want to use some type of mitigation until we have a better means of energy production so that we can leave internal combustion engines, as well as adding on to existing devices instead of trying to make an entirely new one. I also wanted to provide a base to scale the applications up on so that this can be used to tackle an emitter of any size. My engineering goals from my brainstorm was that I should make an apparatus that can be attached to the back of a car, and I want to decrease the harmful emissions, which are oxocarbons, hydrocarbons, and nitrogen oxides, as well as increasing the amount of oxygen while using physical, chemical, and biological processes to accomplish this. So for the design and construction process, I started with a 2D blueprint drawing, and then I made a 3D CAD model and 3D printed it, as well as using conventional construction methods. And I was able to come up with this, which is the filter. As the emissions go through, you attach it through this inner tube, and as the emissions go through, it actually uses physical, chemical, and biological processes to purify the effluent, such as adsorption, photosynthesis, dissolution, as well as a couple of other things. So for testing the prototype, I went to an auto shop and I used their five gas emissions tester and I tested the car's emissions without the filter in play as a control. Then I attached the filter and tested the emissions to see how it was affecting it. And the results were amazing. We increased the amount of oxygen while decreasing the amount of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen oxides, but the hydrocarbons unfortunately increased. And I believe that was due to the inner tube as it's made out of rubber and as it heat up, it releases hydrocarbons of its own, which offset any purification effect that I was achieving with the apparatus. So for applications and impact, this can be a major step in the right direction, in the right direction for improving the environment as it will decrease the amount of harmful pollutants and greenhouse gases while also increasing the amount of oxygen which we need to breathe, as well as use in the military as they use a lot of vehicles and the algae as it's spent can be used as biofuel for their aircrafts as well as bridging the gap since electric, electric vehicles are on the rise but not everybody has access to them. So this can be an intermediary for people who still want to try and be greener. And then this the market is mainly to car owning consumers as they could attach this to their cars and reduce their carbon footprint. And then finally scaling this to factories and industrial use as those are the largest point source emitters of these harmful emissions from combustion processes. So if we can tackle them, then that's already a large part and I'll in the step in the right direction for trying to mitigate the harmful emit emissions from internal combustion engines and combustion processes.